ሰላም ጤና ስትልኝ ይሄ የምታዩት ኤክሰርሳይዝ ከፍሬሽማን ማቲማቲክስ ሞጁል የተወሰደ ነው ቻፕተር 3 የመጀመሪያ ኤክሰርሳይዝ ነው ሌት አር ቢ ኤ ሪሌሽን ኦን ሴት ኤ ዊት ኮንቴንስ ነምበርስ ፍሮም 1 አፕ ቱ 6 ዲፋይንድ ባይ ዘ ሴት አር ኢዝ ኢኳል ቱ ኤ ኮማ ቢ ሴት ዘት ኤ ፕላስ ቢ ኢዝ ሌስ ኦር ኢኳል ቱ 9 ይላል ሶ ዩ ሃቭ ኤ ሪሌሽን አር ዲፋይንድ ኦን ሴት ኤ set a contains a numbers you have to remember that a relation r is by definition it is the subset of the cartesian product between two sets in this case the relation is defined only on set a so we repeat a so the set is the relation is defined on set a so set a contains six elements so this tabala to chine yellow so the cartesian product the number of k a cross a will be 6 times 6 which is 36 so we have to find or list the elements of set r which satisfies the condition a plus b is equal to 9 so r is defined in a way a comma b say that here a and b when you add them their first component plus the second component summation must be either 9 or less than 9 ወይ ዘጠይ መሆን አለበት ወይም ከዘጠይ ማነስ አለበት ስለዚህ ከ36 ስድስቶቹ ውስጥ ይሄንን ኮንዲሽን የሚያሟሉት ነው የሪሌሽኑ አባላት የሚሆኑት ማለት ነው። So for example if you take 2 for the first component and take 4 for the second component you can see if you add 2 plus 4 the result is 6 and 6 is less than 9. So this is true the inequality is true therefore we decide that 2,4 is an element of set r but if you take let's take 4 and from set a again let's take 6 and you can see that here 4 plus 6 is 10 and 10 is greater than 9 but the condition is less than 9 or equal to 9 therefore this is false okay this means you can conclude that 4 comma 6 is not an element of the relation if find by that condition if you take the first element for example 5 and if you take the, the second element component of the order pair 4 and here you get also the first element plus the second element which is 9 and 9 is equal to 9 so this also satisfies the condition so 5 comma 4 is an element of the relation the cartesian product between a and a contains 36 elements starting from 1 relates with 1 one related with two one related with three you continue up to six related with six so from this set of elements of the cartesian product one comma one passes the test because one plus one is less than uh, nine one comma two it also passes the test one comma three one comma four one comma five one comma six which is one plus six is seven therefore we have similarly two comma one two comma two 2,3 2,4 2,5 okay equal it is 7 and 2,6 it is 8 it passes here also 3 with 4 passes the test and 3 with 5 is 8 it passes the test and 3 with 6 is also passes the test because 3 plus 6 is 9 also 4 with 1 4 with 2 4 with 3 4 with 4 4 with 5 4 with 6 okay 4 with 6 doesn't pass the test as we have seen so this will be eliminated similarly 5 with 1 5 with 2 5 with 3 5 with 4 5 with 6 5 with 4 passes the test but 5 with 6 doesn't pass the test and 5 with 5 doesn't pass the test amus amus gara dimru 10 selona amus ka 6 gara dimru 11 selona similarly 6 with 5 6 with 6 therefore the relation r contains the elements which are 1 1 okay 1 2 up to 1 6 here to 1 2 2 up to 2 6 3 1 3 2 3 with every element passes the test okay 4 with 1 up to 4 with 5 only so 4 with 6 doesn't pass the test next 5 with 1 5 with 2 5 with 6 3 5 with 4 only passes the test 6 with 2 6 with 3 and 6 with 4 6 with 5 6 with 6 so here we have how many elements satisfying here 3 here we have 4 here we have 5 okay here we have 6 6 also 6 so the total elements of the sets are so 6 elements doesn't satisfy the condition question b says is the relation r is equal to 
R inverse no milo. Okay. If you have a relation R in general, x comma y says that x comma y are in some set S, okay, then R inverse is obtained by interchanging the first component and the second component of the given relation. So in this case, R is defined on set A, which contains from 1 up to 6. Okay. R inverse will be the set of all B comma A, A comma B is number. Say that B plus A is less or equal to 9 only. So since addition is commutative, okay, A plus B and B plus A are equal. You could both am a care, dimru ye dimru tetun, the unit I am at amarat no commutativity. So let's see, A plus B is equals to B plus A slowner. The relation R is the same as on a to zigga b comma a say that b plus a milon a plus b is not equal to a nine so let's see when you meet a water condition in the model so the set of r inverse is the same as the set of the elements of r therefore the relation r is equal to r inverse the other the domain is the set of all elements of the first component so let's see zigga one all okay two all three all four all five all Again, six are So let's see. A avalat, a domain avalat. So you can conclude, you can conclude that the domain of the relation R is the set A. Similarly, the range is the set of all the second pair. So let's see one all, two all, here three all, four all, again here five all, again here six all. So let's see again. The domain is the range is the set A. So question number two. Let R be a relation on set A. A contains seven elements. Number one up to seven. Defined by R is a set containing ordered pairs A comma B. Such that four divides the difference between the first component and the second component of equation one. It says list all the elements of R. It says Roman number two. Find the domain and range. Three, find the inverse relation. Any relation is the subset of the Cartesian product between two sets. What is a Cartesian product? If you have two non empty sets, A and B, then A cross B contains an ordered pair where the first pair comes from the first set, the left set, that means, and the second component comes from the second set. That means you have to relate every element of a with every element of b if the number of elements of a is k and if the number of elements of set b is l then the number of elements of the cartesian product between a and b will be k times l so in this case the relation r is defined on set a only it is defined on set a which contains seven elements so this relation r is a subset of the Cartesian product between A and A itself. A has seven elements, so seven times seven. The Cartesian product contains 49 elements. R is a relation which is a subset of A cross A. So you have to check that every element that satisfies this condition will be an element of the relation R. Okay, this is a condition you, you will use to identify the elements of R or not elements of R. So if this is true, then A comma B will be an element of R. If the condition is false, then the order pair which made the statement false will not be an element of R. If you have two numbers, let's say C and D, we say D divides the number C if and only if D is a factor of C. That means C can be written as D times some other number like for example, you can say number F. So if C is obtained by the multiplication of D and F, then we can say that C divides, uh, sorry, D divides the number C. Like for example, we say two divides four because four is equal to two times two. We can we, so, we also say three divides 15 because 15 is three times five. So we obtained these numbers so that two is a divisor of 4 and 3 is a divisor of 5. For example, 4 cannot divide 9 because 9 is 1 times 4 plus 1. There is a remainder. Here the remainders are 0. 4 
divides a minus b mallet a minus b is equal to four times some factor mal some other number that means a minus b is a multiple of four a multiple of four you have to find this integer like for example if both are equal let me say a and b equal to one like one 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 minus one is zero so zero can be written as four times zero so one comma one is an element of the relation mallet because four divided zero similarly if you take one comma five for example here one minus five is negative four this result the difference between the first component and the second component minus four can be written as four times an integer minus one so that means minus four is divisible by four therefore one comma five is an element of r so this way by using this divisibility property you can identify the elements of r what is in r and what is not in r there are 49 elements among this we have to find the ordered pairs which satisfies a minus b so for example you can see that the first component the first element is 1 1 1 minus 1 is 0 so this satisfies the condition because 4 divides 0 1 comma 2 so in this case a is 1 and b is 2 so a minus b will be 1 minus which is minus one so four divides minus one we cannot get a factor that four is a divisor of minus one therefore we say four doesn't divide minus one this means one comma two cannot be an element of a given relation this doesn't pass the test one three also the difference is minus two doesn't pass the test one four the difference is minus three so this cannot pass here minus four it is an element of the set okay one minus five is minus four here one minus six is minus five so it's not an element one minus seven is minus six and it is minus six is not divisible by similarly two comma one the difference is one one is not divisible by four two comma two three comma three four comma four five comma five six comma six and seven comma seven all the difference is zero therefore all these elements are the elements of the relation one one 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4, and 7, 7 are all elements of the relation. So here 2 comma 1 is not an element. 2 comma 4, 2 comma 5, 2 comma 6, the difference is minus 4. So this is 2 comma 6 is an element, comma. 2 comma 7, the difference is minus 5. Here the difference is 2. 3 comma 2, the difference is 1. So this way, if you continue, 3 comma 7 is an element of set because the difference is negative 4 7 comma 3 is also the difference is 4 and it is an element of the given set and 2 comma 6 and 6 comma 2 6 comma 2 is similarly 1 comma 5 the difference is minus 4 and 5 comma 1 the difference is of, again 4 and this is also an element of the relation so we have obtained the relation which contains certain elements the second one is to find the domain and the range of the relation R. The domain is in ordered pairs. It is the set of all the first components of each ordered pair. Here we have one, here we have two, three, four, five, six, seven. All the elements of the set A are in the domain. So the domain is equal to the given set. Similarly, the range is the set of all second components which are related with. The domain so we have here one two three four five and six here it is six repetition in a set is not value alone so let's see repetition so about the other let's see one two three four five six and seven this is the, the range is also the set itself the other question is the third equation which is find the inverse of the given relation r inverse so r inverse is obtained by interchanging the order of each pairs okay so the first pair becomes the second and the second pair will becomes the first so the relation is equal to the inverse relation 